Oh my god, what? Video? That's the Museum of Contemporary Arts in the crop shop. The Museum of Contemporary Arts was supposed to release old storehouses, which in the 1980s or something like that, they were knocked down for the contemporary art. But yeah, it's alright. And here's a commemoration for the arrival of the Second Fleet. Lady Juliana and the survivors from the Guardian, the Neptune, Scarborough. The surprise commemorated in, they arrived in 1790 and commemorated in 1990. That was a second fleet known as the Death Fleet. But yeah, we've got some other buildings here in the rocks. This is Circular Key in the background. You're probably wondering why I'm puffing and puffing. It's because I've got bags on my back at the moment and heading towards the train for the airport. This is William Bly, the same guy that was mutinied on the bounty. And he was a governor of New South Wales for a little while before he got disposed by the Rum Rebellion because people just didn't like him. Supposedly, apparently, some one person in India on ABC said he may have asked, but I doubt it. We should stop doing stuff like that, diagnosing people from the past, but that's another story in itself. Yeah, there's a nice little area. Can't remember what the building is, but there's a sign saying what it is. And that's Cadman's Cottage Historical Site. So, yeah, old with the new. So, lucky it's all still standing. You've got the port there. Pass overseas passionate port. So, yeah, old with the new got to stay with it. I wouldn't try a guy lying for coffee because it's like rocket fuel. But Cadman's Cottage was from 1816. And the Coxwain Barracks were built in 1816 on what was then the water's edge. The Coxwain ran the small fleet of official boats crewed by convicts. An important task when carrying the Almost everything the colony used was bought by ship, cutting to the natural rock shelf. The building originally had a small sandy beach in, to its front. The plain Georgian architecture was copied from English pattern books and was, a, was part of a wider attempt to build respectable government buildings for the new colony. The first colony was Bernard Williams. There's information about it and the design to figure it out. Hopefully, I don't know if they do tours, but like the big dig, another significant place. And can't tell what it is, much of what that is, but it's still alright. Is an ever-changing area of the rocks. So upstairs, I'm guessing they mean these stairs, which are by no means deeper than any others of. And that's it.